Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I've just woken up, um, I've had my fuel. I am just mellowing out in the kitchen at the moment. Bertie's down here with me, Beryl's still asleep upstairs. I thought I'd leave her up there asleep. I'm going to start a washing doing and then I'm going to probably go on VR chat. So if, um, I'm using VR chat at the moment to try give myself some challenges, some tasks to do. You see, in VR chat, it's very easy to become insular, to spend all your time with your friends, to spend all your time um, with groups of people that you know in private instances. It's very easy to do that. The problem is that that is a bad thing. It's a good thing in one way, because it's comfortable, it's a safe space, it's support and everything like that it can be a bad thing because you're not challenging yourself you're not putting yourself out there and while me putting myself out there in real life out there would be dangerous and could cause me harm just going to places that have a lot of people and trying to talk which isn't easy if you've ever watched Munchies, you'll see that sometimes when I'm on the stage, I pause, I stop because someone's talked and interrupted me. And that's even with friends around. My brain just has like a car crash event. You've probably seen it on my um, stream. You see, the reason I don't talk, if, there's a, if I'm playing a game and a voiceover comes up, I have to stop. Even if it's a voiceover in something like um, Star Trek Online that I know very well, my brain, as soon as the voice starts, as soon as someone else's voice starts, my brain just stutters. So I'm trying to help that by going to places like clubs and bars and that in VR chat, which can be so much fun and so crazy. Um, the thing is, I've seen everything and pretty much done everything in my life that I want to. And I've I've seen the darker side. I've seen the naughty side. <laughs> so there's not really anything that can jade me or bother me. So just going to these places and just hanging out and then trying to... The best thing would be to be able to actually do some karaoke or something or start singing. But before that, I need to actually start talking to people. And that's not easy in a crowded place. It feels really, really constricting. But how am I doing apart from that? Apart from that, I am doing good. The dogs are good, like I said. Beryl's still asleep upstairs. I'm going to start a washing going just before I go in the... In the I'm going to use my valve index tonight. I feel like using the app valve in it. This is the nice thing about having the valve index set up in a different room. It's set up in the living room valve indexes on my other computer. I like, it's nice to be able to move from room to room to room to room to room to room. It's um, having each room as a different type of safe room and different setup. It's very balanced and weird and strange. But it works for me. And Bertie's splendiferous and happy and just an adorable little doggy, aren't you? Are you adorable? Yes, you are. So, I will start up the thing. Bertie's just here for a love, just down here. He's cute. Yes, and you can't get on this seat because this seat is not rated for your weight. <laughs> But no, I'm good. I hope you're all having a wonderful, splendiferous time, day, morning, whatever. Bye-bye for now.